They won't tell. They won't tell. Okay. They, so you can see now many of the martial art practitioners they don't have dog. They may have quad. They can stand very low. They can split. Their quads release, but no dog. You know, especially the Beijing Wu 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 Su. You know, they can do it very low. They can have a stance like here. But you see it's lost here. No, no, no doubt. They can have a stance like here. Oh, very low, but no power. See? It's no doubt. So we say, oh, it has power, but no doubt. If you have no doubt, your posture, your structure has no, no power. You know, so that is the first power we need to support, to support ourselves. That's a stance. Okay? So why it is a stance? The structure, the structure here. Maybe what? The force not come from the structure. Here, come to here. See? Supporting on here, right? The poles, the poles stand there and support the roof. So actually the supporting is here, the roof. So you can have the second floor, third floor. You can put furniture or what on here. So the supporting is here. If you don't have support here, it clap. The pole is no use. Right? Okay. Please. Could you show the same stance correctly and incorrectly with and without that? Could you the, the horse? Uh, horse stance or you show stance, stance like this? Yeah, yes. Oh, you, you can have a stance like I, I said. Okay, you can have a stance like this. See? But not that. Mm -hmm. Unless you stretch from here, you support. See? You support yourself from there. Always this. See? Mm -hmm. You squat down, but no power from here. Rest and use here. So you extend it? Extend, extract from here. See? Uh -huh. So, see? You sit on what? Where? You sit on here. Uh -huh. Sit on here. See? Like here, too. If you stand like this, you can have a posture like this. No doubt. Mm -hmm. Unless you see here, you support. Mm -hmm. Here you have. If you do this, the two legs extend outside. Here. Mm -hmm. It won't clap. Mm -hmm. If here, it clap. Okay. It's all like this. Okay. So we need a flexible quad, a lower quad. What? To control the down. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's the quad for we need the quad for to quad to end, mm -hmm. to extend, mm -hmm. to move, to control the down. Okay. So down is the most important one, the ba basic. Okay. And you also <laughs> rotate your things out, outward? Inward mm -hmm. or outward? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes inward, sometimes outward. Uh -huh. you know. So you, you, you can keep down in, in both directions. In down, right? To keep down, you are able to keep No, down is like a, if you extend the down, down is like the art. Art, art, art. So you can control the two end, uh -huh. right? This is more, you got the more power. Here, you see? It closed, but you still push. The arc goes up. Mm. You know? Okay. So especially in the in the so-called the internal martial, this is important. So like a, like a, like Xing Yichen is basic is this, right? So if you stand like this has no thumb. This has no thumb. So while you move, you need to use this leg, leg to pull, push, to push. 
need to do this. Right? Use this to push. Well, actually it should stand like this. With that. Why you move is extend. See? You move you move out like the arrow. Yeah? The arrow goes up, you extend the duck, it goes up. So it is not a push from back. Yeah? It is it's like this one. See? Why you move move out? It's all always move. Extend. See? Like this. Here. Now this. Okay. Let's start. It's follow the down. If you extend the down, of course it goes to ground. But it is not stop from this. When you, when you land, it goes into the earth. Yeah, this way. Okay. And the tight chain too. If you don't have qua, don't have down, there is no tight tight chain. <laughs> yeah. If you have down, you start to store your chi. Yeah. If you don't have down, the chi goes away. So, why you have done, why you stand, you stand with the dung after that, then your chi can sink, can hold on here. Then you can have the stance to talk without influence the breathe, breathe. Mm -hmm. you know? You can stand here, you can have a stance here and talk and sing and do things without influence. Mm -hmm. If you don't have it, you drop it. You just use this to hold, mm -hmm. you know, see, so you try if you use here to hold this rock, this, here, mm -hmm. here, okay. And is, is horse riding good for training tongue? Horse riding, the basic, so the first, for be beginners, it will give you a big stance and keep low. Why? Because if you have big stance and open and keep low, you will stretch here. Okay? Make you to stretch here. Keep stretch your heart and stretch your thumb. Okay? Then you can become, become small with the thumb. If you start from a small stance, high stance, you won't have this. You know. So that's why in the beginning the, the training has a big stance. So many people said that uh, that stance is no, no use in, in fighting. Move too slow, right? With this big whole stance, you can't fight with this. Of course, it is not for fight, fighting, it's for tra training. All right, that that's why. Okay. After that, you can stand this high here with the down power. Okay. okay. So many old te te teachers, you see them, they stand like this, very easy stand, no power. But while they want issue the power, they just do this. The power goes. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that? No, no movement on here. Just here. It goes. See? Just here. So they stand like this. They want to go. It goes. It goes. Okay? It's high stance. But they know how to use the bounce. You mentioned that we should start with wide stance. But you told us that women should have uh, more and more stance. So how wide yes. stance? Yes, as your show, shoulder. Mm -hmm. So women's stance is more difficult than men. What is the difference? Huh? What's, 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 because yeah. 
First, uh, they should not have big stands. You know, in that time, it is one. It is not uh, what not 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 elegant. Yeah. A woman cannot open this like so small. Actually. Okay. And the others, women's hip joints are different from men because they need to birth child. Our men's is a little low, lower, so we are narrow here. Our joint is here is a little lower. But women are a little higher. They are wide, wider than here. So their their angle here, their angle is not as big as men. You know. So so the angle is a little a little difference. Okay. Okay. And women don't always want to keep the force under here. Okay. So it's not, they, it's not healthy for them to keep it all the time. Keep the force up. Yeah. yeah. So they they practice with the small steps, but always with the down force come come up. You see? So it's difficult. So with the steps, men can have a stance like this. It's fine. Women have a stance like this. Stance like this. See, they have stance like this. See? Down power come up this way. See? It's more difficult. Okay. 